Hello there everybody and welcome to welcome back to the channel. Today we're here with a very interesting coin. This here is a Japanese two shoe coin. But before we get into that, I'd like to go off and first of all say I'm very sorry for not uploading recently. I've been quite busy with a lot of university stuff and obviously fest the festivities. Which leads me to saying to everyone, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I may be a bit late with those depending on when I upload, but <laughs> do have a good one. Anyways. So, let's get into the coin. This here is a very interesting coin from Japan. This coin here was minted during the years 1832 up until 1858, initially under the Emperor Ninko, if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. Now this here is a coin with a value of two shu, two shu being one eighth of a ryo, which was the currency at the period from 1601 up until 1867. Now let's get a few statistics in here for the coin. The coin here is a Electrum Gold coin, meaning it is about 30% gold. It has a weight of 1.64 grams, and its rectangular shape leads it to have a 13 millimeter yeah, by 7.5 millimeter size. It is in the metal alignment, and of course, being from a currency that no longer exists, it is indeed demonetized. Right, with that the way, let's hop into it and just go off and talk about the obverse here. Now the obverse is extremely beautifully designed, as on the top here you can see that we have the Kiri Crest, and the Kiri Crest there has the dotted border obviously around the front of this coin here, and the dots do lead into the actual Kiri Crest. And underneath the Kiri Crest here we have the words to sure. I do not have to say them in Japanese and I'm sorry, but the translation is once again to sure. And that's about it really for this side of the coin. It shows the denomination and has a beautiful engraving of the Kiri Crest around there and the dotted border just there. Alrighty, sorry for the camera bump there. Let's flip this coin over now and look at the reverse. Uh, the, oh, yeah, the reverse. Okay, sorry for the little cut there. Uh, I was having issues with the lighting and you can probably now see my fingers in the shot. <laughs> but yeah, so this side of the coin here doesn't have too much to say here either really. Uh, what we have here along the edges is once again we have a dotted border, there you go, just around the edge there. And in the centre we have two characters saying, translated to English, Mitsu Tugutsu, no, Tsugu, sorry about that, Mitsu Tsugu. Now, I'm probably saying that wrong, but that there is actually the surname of the engraver, the mint official. And that there should be... Shozaburo Mitsu Tsugusu. Tsugu. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not very good with um, names from foreign countries, I'm sorry. But it's a very beautiful engraving indeed. You've got his name written there, his signature. Very beautiful indeed, just all over that. And yeah, you've got the dotted border around it. And then on the other side, once again, dotted border there. And the very beautiful Kiri Crest and the denomination. So. How much is this coin actually worth? This coin here, being gold, of course has a very high value, as well as the fact that it's a very old coin indeed. Now, there's no way to tell the exact date on these coins if I did not mention already, meaning this here could be from anywhere from 1832 up until 1858, but that there does not affect the value. The value remains the same at around about 50 English pounds, which is approximately 75 US dollars. So this small little coin here, made of Electrum Gold, is very valuable indeed. And is honestly a very nice part to have of anyone's collection. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please do leave a like and do subscribe. And if you have any comments, uh, any questions, anything like that, please do leave them down below, as I do try to get around to as many of them as I can. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, ta-ta!